Well, you can see I'm at the office again. If you look behind me, you can see my cushions are done. And so this is another short video of making a couple of cushions for the Hunter 28. And so of course, sale rights got everything that you need, and they also got really good instructional video on how to do this. But this is how a man does it with little training in the help of sale right. Turned out pretty good and saved quite a bit of money. Of course, the foam was pretty expensive because I went ahead and bought the microbial foam from sale right. But I figure it's going to last another 10 years at least. And it's good for the water, so if it gets water on, it's not a problem. So sometimes you do got to spend the extra money for the right foam, especially if it's outside on the boat. That way it's weather resistant. So enjoy. All right, so there's my secret, secret formula for my cushions. And so I got the top two pieces cut. They are exactly the same size as the foam. 40 and a half, 39 and a half by 18. And so I got both pieces cut for the left side and the right side. And so now we're going to cut the strips. The foam is three inches, and so I'm going to cut the strips at four inches so that's just snug. It's not going to be super, super tight. They say cut it at three inches and then it squeezes in, but then you only get a two, two inch cushion. So I'm going to be taking a chance and ending up with a three inch tall cushion, and hopefully it's tight. We'll see what happens. So here's where my strips are laid out. I got four, 12, 8, and 16. That'll give me my four long strips that I need. And so, of course, the best thing to use to cut this umbrella is one of these edge knives. And this one, I put the little flat panel on the bottom. So when you go, you can just go right along the line. See if I can do this and hold this at the same time. Probably not. Let's try this here. Yeah, it's terrible. But that's how it cuts it. So let me finish cutting. And just like that, you got a nice four inch strip. So once I sew it, you lose a half inch on each side, we'll end up with a three inch, which is the X size of the foam. And so that should be just about right. So we'll just keep on cutting all these and we'll get back with you. All right, so I got my big strips cut and I've cut them cut to 40 and a half and 41 and a half. So they're an inch bigger than my panels. But you do that because when you sew your strips together, you're going to lose an inch on each one because you're going to have a half inch overlap on each corner. That way your corners will line up exactly. So when this one gets done, it'll be exactly 39 and a half from corner to corner or seam to seam. And this one will be 40 and a half, which is the back one exactly dead on. That way you, you, don't, you, can't, you won't shrink your panel. You don't shrink your panel until you hook it all together. So when I sew this part, onto the panel then the panel will shrink by a half inch in the front and a half inch in the back and that's what's going to make the foam fit tight when you shrink that because you're going to lose an inch at the bottom too so you lose a half inch here half inch here half inch on the bottom half inch on the bottom in the front and so that all squeezes it together so we'll keep going all right so we're working on our cushions now so i got the front strip cut out and the two sides have them sewn together at four inches. That way when we do the half inch allowance on each side, we'll be exactly three inches on the foam. Got the top panel cut. I have them all marked for center. So now we'll go ahead and mark them and we'll sew them together and we'll get those three sides done and then we'll go from there. But that's step one. I made this the size of the foam plus a half inch allowance for each side. So it won't be real, real tight, but it'll be just barely snug by the time I get done. So with the sides sewn and ready to go, we got the top and this is the piping. So we're going to put the piping on the two sides and on the front only. And so we'll do that next and of course to do that you have to have this special piping foot which we got from Sailrite. And so we'll do this one next. So there's our piping on. That's on the front and on the two sides. Of course, then when it rolls over, this is what you'll see. That'll be the top. This will be all inside. So now I got my 
front piece and my two side skirts so we'll go ahead and sew them on like that and then when you roll it over it'll be look pretty good so here it is sewed together and so now when you take it like this and you roll it out like that there you go that'll be your corners now so that's it and I started from the center and went one way which worked out really good it's gonna got my corner right where it needs to be and so now we'll sew the other half and we'll be able to have that all the way around so there she is with the side skirt in the corner front skirt and the other corner in that side skirt so now we'll make our zipper pouch for the back put that on and then do the bottom so coming along so I thought I'd give you a shot of the back where the zipper goes so I take this one here put a half inch hem on it so it's smooth like that and then when you do the zipper let me show you how to do this here then this will sew right over the top of the zipper on one half and then this will be on the other half and your zipper will be hidden down inside the middle so what I started with was two and a half inch piece and a two and a half inch piece and by the time you fold it over and you get done you'll end up at four inches which is what the sides and the front were and that'll be the back so here's that underlayer, underlayment material kind of like a rubbery unless the water goes out so we got it laid out cut 18 and a half by 40 and a half which is the same size as the cushion that way when we sew this on it'll be a little tight and it will pull it will pull the sides underneath and then you won't see this if you do it the exact size this might stack at the front by making this a little smaller it rolls the bottom edges so one sewing machine and a little bit of material and we have got us our two cushions they are done so that's two got one more to go got to do the back curved one